Welcome back to the channel. So now we've got a inbox review of this quite unusual kit. Uh, not much about it on the internet, hence why I'm trying to uh, I'm doing this uh, review myself. So what we've got here is the Polycarpoff i15 BIS. So it's a re-engined version of the i15, uh, which was the, the Chateau, which had the, the radial engine on the front, pretty much exposed. This has got a cowling around it, more powerful engine, bit more chunkier. You can see the development was starting to look a bit more like an i16, bit more like the i15 free. Um, it's starting to move that way. Um, now, what these did during the Spanish Civil War, if anything, is quite hard to narrow down. I think I've got it, I think we've got an idea, but the, they didn't do a lot. There might have been a few flights um, of them in anger, hard to know what, you know, what and when that was, uh, but they were delivered in this livery. Uh, so in a, Spani in a Spanish Republican livery, they were sent to Spain whether they got there or not is up for debate. They might have got there and then been sent back to France as well. But they, pretty much they ended up being in France in 1939. They, they got sent across the border and then the French looked after them. And what happened to them then is a little bit difficult to track down as well. But there is some sort of anecdotal uh, evidence that maybe there was a flight used, maybe there was a handful that were sent to one part of Spain and they were actually used during the war, so who knows, but I've got some pictures that I'll, I'll be putting up through, um, through the video, which have just been scoured off the internet, um, showing that they're obviously there at some point, so as far as I'm concerned they, they fit for what I want to do and I, I want to have one in the collection, so that's what we've got here, so I wouldn't go building this thinking um, you know, you've got one of the famous Spanish Republican fighters. For that, you want the I-15 Chateau, the one before this. Special Hobby do one in 148, and it's probably best to um, save a lot of anguish and um, and pick one of those up. But these are obviously used in other places, and um, it you know it's, it's an interesting interesting aircraft. So what we've got here is short run kit from AMG, typical stuff, um, sprues laid out there, we've got a bit of film for the instrument panel, and then we're straight in, um, going to be, you know, needing to take take a deep breath and, and think about things when you're doing this, dry fitting, and um, knowing that this probably isn't going to fall together and you shouldn't have any problems. So we've got a uh, cockpit being built up there as well as the cowling and um, even the gear legs here as well with the uh, the wheel spats going on. And then it all comes together pretty quickly, pretty jumbled and you're going to need to take a moment to work out what's actually happening here. So you've got the, the fuselage halves coming together, clamping in the cockpit, lower wings going on, um, horizontal stabilizers going on, then we're straight into struts with the top wing going down gear legs going on with the spats that you'd want on this um, and then rigging and finishing off with a propeller so uh, quite a crude uh, photocopy there showing you what the photo etch you get and um, we've got i15 bis cc090 and cc097 is part of the grupo independiento uh, january 1939 spain so that is the sort of time they were floating about you're going to need to do a little bit of research to track down where this was, what it did, and how it fared. Um, and that <laughs> That's the instruction. It's as quick as that. Uh, we've got a whole bundle of decals here, um, which give you all the kind of options that you could possibly want, and you should be able to make something that existed out of this. So we've got the uh, actual Spanish Air Force uh, roundels there. So if you want to do a post-war one, I think some came back um, post-war from France. Uh, so on here we've got CC086 and this is literally uh, the same sheet twice and so is this. So you've got CC090 and CC097 there in the black and you've also got CC086 in the white. And then we've got the Nationalist um, or Spanish Air Force insignia there as well, as well as the Republican uh, fin colours. So 
uh, rudder colours. So there's a lot to be going on with there. Um, and like I said, you're going to need to take a moment to get some research done. Uh, my Facebook group, Spanish Civil War Modelling Group, is uh, one good place to go and find that out because we've got a discussion on this very kit on there and that's where a lot of the information is. So uh, if you haven't already, there's a link in the description. Head on over, join in. I'll let you in because it will be me who uh, sees you join and um, you'll be away. So there we can see you've got the photo etch there. Um, now I think that looks like that could even be strut wires there. It is. So the um, the rigging is actually on the sheet so that's what all this case is for. We've got the uh, well, engine intake is it? Grill? Something like that. Um, I think it's a bit like the, the i16. It's got a it sort of moves. I don't know what that's called. Um, that goes behind the cowling. And then we've got the rear of the seat, instrument panel, and a few small parts all the way through this, which probably go into the cockpit. We've got belts there, among other things. A very typical AMG, looks just like the um, photo etch that you get in the 109s as well. Extremely thin, extremely thin. Absolutely. Um, well, it's, it's impressive stuff. It, it's very nice. So uh, you're just going to need to take your time with this, think about it, and try not to rush it, and um, it's going to result in a very interesting model. And there aren't many of these about. I think AMG are the only people who make this kit in this scale. Um, the plastic is actually quite nice, very chunky, nice chunky single piece upper wing there, with the, uh, the nice dihedral, would that be? Going like that, quite nice. Um, it's all very, very chunky. It's nice. A lot of weight to it. Good detail. Very subtle um, ribbing effect there. And some panel lines built into the lower wing there as well. Very subtle stuff. All looking very good. Fuselage halves. So we've got the uh, metal panels at the front here. Which do look pretty good. bit of shine on it but it looks very good and then we've got the uh, ribbing and um, fabric detail there at the back as well a little bit of internal detail and there's the cowling do you know looking at it I don't think this is going to be too bad a kit really it all looks pretty good I mean if they're 109s anything to go by there was no fit problems with that you just had to sort of take your time uh, Wheels are in halves, flat and flat sided halves. Again, it's not a problem, is it? With a smooth tyre, just squeeze that down so you get a bead of plastic running out and then sand it and it will fill itself. A little bit of sink marks there on the gear legs. Or legs, landing gear legs. Um, not a problem. Struts quite chunky as they were. Again, hopefully no problem there as well. And these blooming great things. Good fixing points, you've got pins there, you've got locating holes, should all be fine. Uh, then we've got some more plastic, so we've got the uh, cockpit floor, propeller, um, sidewall detail as well for the framing, a few other small parts going on there. All looks very nice. And then in the bag we've got a resin um, clear part. Well, let's get it. Up. We've come this far. We've come this far. Let's get it out of the bag. So there's the resin windscreen with a hole in it, which is where the uh, gun sight goes. It's a little bit cloudy, but it, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine if you give it a bit of a polish or maybe even a dip. Just be careful getting that off the uh, resin block. Then we've got there, I guess that's a propeller hub. And then we've got just a little sprue there giving you the um, wheel spats. Sink marks on there. Just something to watch out for. Easily filled. And there we go.